Hello everyone, in this video I'll be doing a review of the Body Armor Fruit Punch Sports Drink. This is cool, I've never seen these before in Canada, so when I saw it at a specialty store I had to grab it. This is the Superior Hydration Super Drink Fruit Punch with other natural flavors. There's 120 calories in one of these bottles, and this consists of 28 grams of carbs with 26 grams of added sugars for a total of 28 grams of sugar. So quite high in sugar, seems like it's very similar to Gatorade. I don't normally love sugar drinks, but we shall see how this is. I heard they're pretty decent. It also has coconut water electrolytes, uh, 700 milligrams of potassium, antioxidants A, C, and E vitamins, and then B vitamins as well. Cool, natural sweeteners, natural flavors. Here we go. First time. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah, it's not bad. Fruit punch flavor. It does have that salty kind of kind of taste that some of these sports drinks have. Not like Prime. Prime's overly sweet. This is a little bit toned down from that. Yeah, actually good doses of uh, vitamins in there. No caffeine, gluten-free. Pretty solid. Not bad. Pineapple's a strong flavor in that. Looks like it's pineapple, lime, orange, and cherry. Maybe apple too. Yeah, it looks like, it. yeah, it's apple, not... Interesting. I don't know how I think about what I think of it. It's definitely uh, different. I unfortunately had to pay $7.99 for one of these. They're quite expensive, but lots of good stuff in it, I guess. Yeah, it's just fair. Like a it's a decent leg. I'm not sure what I'm going to give it out of 10. I'm just going to take one more sip and decide, but I, like it's good if it was a sports hydration drink. Not bad. I think Fruit Punch is a pretty hard flavor to do wrong. So overall, Body Armor, Superior Hydration, Fruit Punch, Super Drink. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. It's not bad, but I've had better Fruit Punch flavored things before. A similar flavor is Prime's Tropical Punch, but I think I prefer the Tropical Punch much more to that, to this. So, yeah. And this one has, has a bunch of sugar. I feel like if they had a sugar-free version of this, it would probably be a lot better and I would give it a better review, but having 28 grams of sugar and a taste like this doesn't feel worth it to me, honestly. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.